back to the channel Pre-Hive Gang. And if you don't know what a Pre-Hive Gang is, that means that you're probably not subscribed. So go ahead, take a second to do so, and then we'll get right into the video. Alright guys, so in today's video we are going to be doing a Ego Official Try On Haul. So this is different for me just because... Um, of course, on my channel, I have done try-on hauls with clothes, but I have not done a try-on haul with a shoe brand or just shoes in general. So I'm super excited for this one. Um, Ego Official was having a huge sale, just like any brand right now due to quarantine. Of course, because we're all stuck in the house, people aren't really buying. And so these brands are like, no, we need to get y'all attention. So we're going to drop these prices. And they got me. <laughs> they got me so ego official was having a big 50% off sale and on top of the 50% off if you are a student meaning high school college whatever you get an additional 20% not one or the other additional so that means I in total got 70% off I just couldn't pass it up. I just couldn't do it. So here we are with our try on haul and I just wanted to kind of do it with you guys. This is my first time ever shopping from Ego Official. Um, I've heard about them of course through Instagram, other YouTubers that I watch but I've never purchased from them. So this is kind of like a first impression I guess you can say as well. Um, and yeah we're just going to get right into items um i normally don't like to spend too much time discussing the names but i am going to say the names just because i'm most likely not going to put it on the screen i'm just be honest with y'all so yeah i am going to say the names but i'm going to also link because i'm getting better with youtube and because i've done it in one of my last videos i'm going to link all of the items that i bought in the description box so I'm actually not even going to waste time to say what it's called because it'll be right there. But I will give you guys the price just so you can kind of get a general idea from this video if you want them before you just go looking for them. So because I only got one accessory, I'm going to start with that. So I have this right here. And again, everything, um, I have not went through anything. I literally just took everything out of the package. So I haven't seen anything. This is literally going to be an unboxing first impressions, all of that in one. So, yes. So, here I have this purse. Um, I've been seeing like this trend where it's like this bum bag type thing. Like it just looks like a big kind of like fluffy bum bag. I don't know what it's called. Um, and I really like it. Like some trends, let me open this first. I hate that. Anyways. Some trends are like, you know, something that I overlook and I'm just like, eh. and then some trends I really like. And so this purse that has recently came out, I really like this. So I wanted to cop one myself. Um, it comes in the packaging and it also comes with like one of these little bags. So this is good because it is a nude purse. So it's good to definitely keep it in this for protection and keep it clean. So I like that. But this is the purse and so far I'm in love with it. I got the woven one so this one has texture which I really like as well um, because some of them you know don't have texture. Some of them are just like the simple plain leather but I wanted the one with the texture so I really like it thus far. It feels definitely like good material. It does have a little strap here and let's see how long it is. So here is the strap. It is definitely a good size. And yeah, I absolutely love this. This is super cute. You guys will see me styling this like for sure. And so in terms of how you open it, it doesn't have like a hook or anything. You literally just pull it open like that, um, which I find is very convenient and easy. It gives you good spacing in here. You have all of this room. Um, and yeah, I love this. This is super cute. And of course, because of how it is made, you can stick your strings inside of the purse and carry it like a clutch if you chose. Or of course, pull the strings out and wear it on the shoulder. Like, it's whatever you choose. But I think this... <laughs> this is super cute. Okay, moving right into our shoes. So I'm going to start 
um just randomly because i don't again i don't know which ones are which so i'm gonna just start randomly so this shoe is the icy nude pat um icy nude pat in hill and this shoe originally ran for $22. I got all of my shoes just for size reference. I got all of these heels in a size 8 because I normally wear a size 7.5 in women's. But this specific site does not do half sizes. They only do whole sizes. So normally if that happens, I like to go up a size rather than down. I think that clearly makes sense. So I got a size 8 in all these shoes. So, of course, this is a simple, clear, perspex heel. Everyone needs these in their closet. It's just literally a simple heel that you can throw on with almost everything. Like, if you wanted to, this could be the only heel that you own and you would be fine. So, I needed these. I've been eyeballing these for a while. And originally, I was eyeballing them on Boohoo. But Boohoo kept fluctuating in their price and it just wasn't making sense. So... You know, when it came to a competitive thing and they got a big sale going on and Boohoo don't know if they want their shoe to be $45 or $15, then it's just like, you know, yeah. So, I ended up getting these. I absolutely love them. You guys have seen these before, I'm sure. Clear Perspect. I'm basically late, but I needed it in my closet. And then this version specifically, as you, if you can see, has a small little platform. So for me, someone like me, you guys know I say this all the time, I'm not a big heel walker. I'm not someone that's big on like wearing heels with every outfit. Um, but I do like to dim and dab in it a little bit. So I like to get heels that kind of like make sense for myself. And to me, that means a heel that's not that high. So normally I stop at about a four inch, maybe a four and a half. But for real, for real, I can't do anything beyond that because then I'm walking around looking crazy so that's normally my comfort zone for a hill and then also things with platform so that is why I got the platform version rather than just a flat cut but it still looks you know flat and it doesn't look crazy so this is the hill and again I got these in a size 8 so moving on to shoe number two we have the Maryland black faux suede feather pointed toe heel and the original price of these were $29.99 so pull them out so this is the heel right here um yeah Shay Shay if you're seeing this I got the black as you can see um and I only say that because I texted my friend and asked her should I get the nude or the black because they had a nude version and she said get the nude and I was going to get the nude I was tempted to get the nude but once you see the rest of the shoes I got mostly everything I got is either a clear Heel, which is basically nude to me or it's nude so I was like let me get some let me get this shoe in a black just so I can have an alternative color so that's what I did for these these are a four inch heel I think the rest of these are four inch heel the first heel was a 4.5 the rest of these are four inch heel so of course it's going to be a little bit shorter than I guess average or what most people like but again for someone like me this is what I need um one thing I'm liking just by holding the shoe that I'm noticing is that right in here they have a little bit of cushioning in the shoe I think that is really good um because I'm gonna assume that it helps with support and stuff like that um it is so like I said it is a feather heel and it is pointed toe which I think is cute and it's also it's not a closed toe it's open toe so it is a sandal type of feel which I think is going to be really cute because you can give a little peak toe when you get your when you get blah, I can't speak when you get your toes painted all white and cute you can have a nice little you know peekaboo moment with this heel so I just thought these were really cute you know if you go on a date night with your dude even if y'all in the house throw a robe on put these on bow you know, or even go out with the girls or just whatever. I think this is going to be really cute. So, can't wait to show you guys these and <sighs> shoe number three. This is the Vanity Silver Holographic Hill. Already, a lot of these shoes are fairly cheap. Like, we haven't hit anything over $30. And that's the original price. So, imagine what I paid. Exactly. Anyways, this is the heel right here. 
again it is another four inch heel something that i'm noticing ego does a lot i guess or they're famous for is like this little kind of like triangular pyramid looking heel i think it's fairly cute it's not everyone's thing i understand but i think it's really cute again a four inch heel it is a, a holographic heel which i think is super cute it is a square toe which i think is super cute um and yeah it is strappy as you can see it has two straps that go over you know the top of your foot a strap that goes at the bottom and then a toe strap so these are super cute um just based off of the color obviously it's holographic so you might be a little bit you know you might not be able to wear it with as much but again it is a sandal so yeah and it's holographic which you know to me has all the colors you see that like it has all the colors so i feel like it is a very versatile shoe and i can wear this with pretty much anything and for our last shoe we have the christina nude clear diamante point toe heel um and this shoe was 37.99 original price so this was the only shoe that hit 30 dollars um but again that is the original price so did it really <laughs> so some of the shoes have this on it and some of them don't but no big deal. so this is the hill right here again it is this pyramid looking hill again a four inch hill um all of the shoes pretty much had this cushion here and of course ego's logo um, which is super cute and then it is again a clear sp perspex so it's basically like the first heel that I had um, but instead of it being a complete open toe you have a closed toe option and it has that nice sparkly detail and the thing that I thought was cool about these or interesting about these is that it does keep this part open this part is open on the heel which I think is cute and also convenient because you guys know People that wear these little clear perspex type closed toe shoes, their feet be sweating, the thing be clouding up looking all foggy, that's not my jam. And that's just why I've never purchased a shoe like that because it's just not my jam. But leaving this little thing open, I'm guessing that they've learned is that leaving this open allows for air. It allows, it gives you an airway for your feet to breathe. So that helps prevent the foggy cloudy mess. So I thought that was convenient and cute. And yes, so this is the heel again. Super, super cute. I love these. Can't wait. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So far, just with opening everything up, even the packaging is really cute. Like the little pink box. It's like snake print. Ego's logo. Like the packaging, all of that. The quality of the heels, the purse, all of that. So far, I'm impressed excuse me so far i'm impressed so far i'm engaged so far i'm happy so i'm excited but i hope you guys enjoyed this video of course you guys know what comes next please leave me a comment down below let me know what you thought about this video let me know if you want to see more videos like this let me know your favorite hit which hill did you like the most you know whether it's because it's your style or whether you think the, it's the best one for me whatever just tell me your best one give me the best shoe down below and finally please 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 make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel all i want you to do is to subscribe to my channel hit the button that's it <laughs> and i hope to see you guys in the next video i love you guys so much and again i hope you guys enjoyed so yeah bye guys <laughs>